22 days after starting a brand new account and getting the gold pass at Town Hall 7, I am now ready to go to Town Hall 8. So naturally, the question is, what should I upgrade first? I'm on my Town Hall 8 account here. It's not a max Town Hall 8, but it is going to help us showcase some of the new stuff and break down what you need to upgrade first. So without further ado, let's go into it. Just a heads up, so that this guide makes sense to you, make sure that if you are following, that you have already maxed out your Town Hall 7 before you go to Town Hall 8. Uh, otherwise, this guide won't make sense because things won't line up just right. Just make sure there's no buildings and no lab that need to be upgraded. Here is a really solid representation of all of the new buildings that you're going to get at Town Hall 8. Things get serious at Town Hall 8. Lots of new stuff. Uh, some of these things are high priority to get and max out. Others are just high priority to get and get to the level of the rest of them. So for instance, like your cannons or your arch towers, just get them to the same level. Um, it's, it's a weird phenomenon. The new defenses will give you a ton more DPS on your base uh, than upgrading your existing ones to higher levels. And it's just because of how long it takes for the upgrades to take place. I'll demonstrate this here in a little bit, but really this is the new stuff you want to get. You want to get it immediately, especially like the very, very fast upgrades, like the zero second trap upgrades and whatnot. Probably the most important thing would be the dark spell factory though, because you were going to unlock the poison spell. And then if you haven't upgraded again, you're going to unlock the earthquake spell. Poison spell is significantly more important to me, in my opinion, but both are very, very good offensive buildings and that, of course, is what you want to focus on anytime you upgrade the Town Hall. But you also get the Bomb Tower, a fantastic defense against Hogs, which you will see a ton of Hogs at Town Hall 8. You also get a new Gold Storage and Elixir Storage. Very important to upgrade those just so you can hold more, you know. Uh, new Archer Tower, Wizard Tower, Mortar. We also get another Dark Elixir Drill, which is not super important in my opinion because it's not hard to get enough dark elixir at town hall 8 but hey it's free loot right another hidden tesla and then a whole bunch of new traps a giant bomb two spring traps an air bomb two air bombs and a seeking air mine and you also get a new trap called the skeleton trap two of those they're amazing they're really more annoying than amazing for the attacker but you definitely want to get them and then 50 new walls it's always a good idea to try to balance out getting these new buildings, maxing them out or upgrading them as far as you can very fast because they are cheap and easy upgrades. But life isn't perfect. And sometimes you can't do a two hour upgrade right before bed. You need to do an eight hour upgrade before bed. So do your best. <laughs> and let's now move on to the more important stuff, strictly offensive buildings. I decided to include the resource buildings too. So first day priority always is to look at your laboratory, right? You want to upgrade that laboratory, get it going. You need those upgraded troops and spells and whatnot. Now, there is another thing that you always want to watch for, and that is the army camps and the spell factories. But I have good news for you. At Town Hall 8, you don't upgrade them. So the spell factory and the army camps, you don't have to think about them. They're gone. Get out of here, buddy. So back to the Dark Spell Factory, right? Another one, you get new spells. They're great. We've already talked about it, but it's a really important offensive building. So I wanted to include it here. You also unlock the P.E.K.K.A. and the Barracks. So you do want to upgrade that. Do you use the P.E.K.K.A. a lot? It's completely up to you. I don't really, but I will. I just don't a lot. And then also the Dark Barracks. Actually, the Dark Barracks gets two upgrades. You're going to unlock both the Valkyries and the Golems. Both of those are fantastic troops. So in my opinion, I would actually swap the Dark Barracks and the regular Barracks. I would unlock those well before the P.E.K.K.A. Just saying. And don't forget your King gets two levels. Uh, or, I'm sorry, two, five levels. Excuse me. He, he gets five levels from level six to level 10. Um, it's not hard to do. It's not hard to get your Dark Elixir for that. But it is very important to upgrade the King. Now, kind of switching gears to resource buildings. And I, I kind of see the clan castle slash treasury as both a an offensive building and resource. Your uh, clan castle does get an upgrade at Town Hall 8, and it will give you 25 troop capacity, and you now can bring a clan uh, a clan donated spell, it's like a poison spell or some single troop, like a lightning spell, you know, a single uh, potion capacity in your clan castle. So that's also a very high priority. And I, I will mention that about a lot of things. Uh, that doesn't mean they're all day one priorities. I think the only for sure thing that is a day one priority is a laboratory. Everything else is completely up to you. Um, I think that high, very, very high priority though is the clan castle. Bringing extra troops from a clan castle and whatnot is very important. But getting the new stuff, you'll you'll see me in practice with limited builders and limited resources go through this on my Gold Pass Clash series. So um, definitely check that out as we move forward. Now, another big thing is the dark storage dark elixir storage we get two levels for the dark elixir storage at town hall eight and i'm going to be upgrading them quickly because i just like to be able to hold more dark elixir so high high very important also the gold mine and elixir collector get 
upgrades as well you can take those to what level uh 12 yep so i haven't even done those on this account and then good news your gold storage and your elixir storage and even your dark elixir drill they don't get any upgrades ain't that just really really nice <laughs> so we can get rid of them we don't have to think about those either so there you go limited uh we're not you know distracted we're focused on what we need to do and these are top priority offensive resource, which I always recommend doing before your traps and your defenses. I usually say go with traps later on, but you know, sometimes you need those cheap, easy upgrades. And so I slipped them in in between. So let's just discuss the priorities. First of all, air bombs, they don't get no upgrades. You get new ones, but you don't have to upgrade them past the town hall seven max and seeking air mine. Same thing. You don't upgrade it to level two. So you don't even have to think about that. So what do you want to focus on traps wise? Well, in my opinion, anything that'll stop hogs, right? So your giant bombs are top priority for sure. You got your spring traps, that's highly effective as well. Although this spring trap upgrade does not give you an extra hog. I think it takes from 12 to 14 capacity per spring trap. So it's not a really high priority. Bombs will slow them down and you get two skeleton traps and you get two levels per skeleton trap. And those can cause a really big problem for hogs. So uh, I would say giant bomb and skeleton trap are the highest of priorities for traps. And probably your bombs and your spring traps would be your last things that you upgrade on your base at Town Hall 8. And that includes working with your defenses, which is what we're going to get to now. We're going to refer to this formula that's on the screen right here. This is how I determine which defenses should be upgraded first by determining their effectivity, which is a name that I've made up and an equation that I've made up and used for years and years and years in Clash of Clans, and it has never steered me wrong. This equation helps me to break down which defenses need to be upgraded first by using the stats that you gain and the stats that this defense has. Um, in Clash of Clans as you upgrade them. So it includes things like the DPS, the splash, whether or not it's splash or single targeting. If it's splash, I give it an, a multiplier of four. If it's a single targeting and uh, whatever, then it's only gonna hit one target at a time. Range is how much range it has, obviously, and then the amount of um, troops that it can hit. Is it ground or air or both? And I also look at the total number of troops and heroes and determine, okay, well, which ratio is ground and which ratio is air and in town hall 8's case you have t uh you have uh uh what is it uh 67 excuse me my brain's not functioning fully i'm not feeling well i mentioned in yesterday's video too so thank you for your patience 67 percent of the troops are ground and 33 percent are air and since we can't predict human uh you know how often people are going to use troops you have to assume that they're used evenly and that's how the math works out for that and then you divide all of those numbers you multiply by the amount of time that the upgrade takes because you do want to gain effectivity on your base as fast as possible so it's kind of a complicated thing i know not everybody likes numbers and stuff but just to show you that this is taken pretty seriously and how to choose what to do you'll see that the number one most effective upgrade on your base by by double and a half is the level one bomb tower. And this is kind of showcasing what I was talking about. Whenever you get a new defense, you gain a lot more DPS a lot faster than every other time. Uh, and so it makes getting the new stuff way, make way more sense. But I'm assuming by now you've already got your level one bomb tower. So now I'm gonna put this back in its place where it actually should be. Now, I've always said wizard tower is my favorite defense. And that's because besides the level one bomb tower, the level five and six wizard towers are actually the most effective defenses that you can grab on your base and you can see actually it says level six wizard tower is and i'm looking my my other screens over there my level six wizard tower has a higher effectivity than my level five wizard tower so to get that level five wizard tower or level six you have to do level five first so based on the math you want to get level five and the level six wizard towers as soon as possible because that effectivity is much higher and then after that you have the archer tower to level uh nine so that's that makes sense right ground and air can target more it's got a really good range and then surprisingly cannon to level nine is uh is next and it has an effectivity of 9.4 i mean that's like a quarter of bomb tower level one but it's still not bad it's better than i expected i never do cannons so early but i, I will in this case and then you have the the second and final archer tower upgrade at level 10 and then surprisingly the air defense comes into play at rank. What is this rank number six? Um, and now I might recommend doing them a little earlier because I do know that people use dragons a ton of town hall eight. So you might want to do air defenses earlier, but this is how the math worked out with that equation. 
Uh, Tesla level four is next, and then maxing out your cannons, then Tesla level five, then maxing out your bomb towers, then Tesla level six, and then finally upgrading your mortars. Mortars gain two DPS. I mean, it's just bad. And then the sweeper would be your last one. It, you, you can upgrade it anytime you want to, but it just doesn't do damage, so it doesn't really fit the equation. But it is a defense, so you do want to include it. And you want to include walls as well, because, you know, they're a defense, technically, I guess. Are they? Are they a defense? anyway so that is the list of which defenses you should upgrade first and this is probably the order i'll be following on my town hall 8 that is going to be done tomorrow and i'll probably even upload my my day one experience on gold pass clash as a town hall 8 in tomorrow's video so if you're excited about that stay tuned and uh and tune in so thank you so much for tuning in guys if you have any questions about town hall 8 and what you should upgrade first post them down below in the comments and i'll just make a quick comment about the laboratory if you are curious about what troops and spells and stuff you should upgrade in your laboratory first you should always focus on what you use first what you use first what you're comfortable with if you're looking for suggestions you probably already now know hogs are my number one troop at town hall 8 hog rider uh golem and valkyrie combinations your wizards and your wall breakers and then um, some people use dragons and stuff at Town Hall 8 as well. But again, use what you use. Upgrade that Barbarian. That'll help the King's ability. And uh, yeah, upgrade what you use. There's no real way to break it down numerically. That's why I don't make guides for it. So anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, again, questions down below or in my Discord server. Link for that's down below in the description. And I'll see you tomorrow with our day one in-game Town Hall 8 experience.